on the offensive end. That is true. But we would like to, fifth point in this game, because that lead to three. La Nete, that foul. Counter the plea of uh, De La Pena. As we take a look at that shot by Lanete against the bigger man, Del Rosario, the fall away by the rookie. Shows him. If Sanvera makes errors, they have to take advantage of it and to get back into this game. And if they, it's important that they cover Escobal. To it's here from Coach Franklin. He needs the presence now of Escobal and also of Marcelo, who played well under the basket in the first half. Jaquin, he had 12 in the first half. De La Peña. Oh, what a big block by the rookie. They're, they were able to batter five consecutive titles. See how, see how Marcelo changes the game. Over and over, just as we take a look. At Kelvin De La Peña already avoided Al Jamal from blocking the shot. But Marcelo timing it perfectly for that block. To Al Jamal. There's Marcelo muscling inside the rookie, Dave Marcelo. Now, this is his time to shine, and he is indeed shining with San Beda Loyalists. Signaling one. Shoot one more. Of course, Yusuf Aljamal. Goes inside, two red shirts hounding him. No foul called. Coach Franklin wants to go down low. Will they go? Menor takes that outside shot. It's good. Now the gamble Coach Leo is, up, is willing to take De La Peña. Yes, that is big for Kelvin De La Peña. 61 to 56 with two minutes and seven seconds. And Banal continues to step on. The Red Lions with that three-pointer. Don't look now, folks. The Cardinals are in the driver's seat with an eight-point lead. And that he had on a Jamal. Timeout will be called by Coach Leo Isaac, although they're in front by eight, 64 to 56. And yeah, you don't need that if you're Mapua. You're on top by five. Technical foul on number 9, Matty Acosta, for taunting the referee. Acosta, taunting the referee, will be given a technical foul. So this will mean two free throws here for Escobal, the designated shooter. And ball possession will be with San Pedro. As you take a look at what happened there, last second free throw of Menor, he will miss this. And then we will take a look at that foul, Acosta. Was called. That is when he argued with it with the official said, and he said a few words that the official didn't like. It was the other official who called the technical foul. Look at this. He will be pulled back by Sean Cole. And then the technical will come after this, after he pointed to the official. Here yes. in the end of the third quarter. This, was, this is essentially six late free throws will be given to San Beda. Plus they keep possession. They're going to have the chance to get that seven, seven, seven point blast in just one possession because of these free throws. Plus, if they convert with their possession, they can either tie or lead. Escobal. Hitting it. This is just his third point in this game so far. Peña now running, hands it over to Sean Cole. But there is that block, big time block from Raymond Magai. The end of the third quarter. Don't look now, folks. We are not at 64. At one time, Sambeto was up as much as 11, and then Mapua was up as much as 8. But we are not at 64, entering the fourth. More 83rd. NCAA season action when we return. Stay with us. We'll be back with the fourth and final quarter. Side shots. Keep on driving. That's why they were on top by 11 in the first half. And they came back. Salo does over to Magai. Using Escobar using that Magai pick. Driving inside, kicking out to Garbo Lanete. Yes! 
that's the reason why he is there. First touch of the ball, he takes a three-pointer. Bad shot for Simolino. That's true, with so much time on the shot clock. Lanete! Wow. Strike two, another three for the rookie, Gargo Lanete. Now the San Beda loyalists on their feet. I was not making his shots. Great substitution by Coach Franklin, putting in Lanete for Elmida. What a big block for Marcelo. Dave Marcelo now has five blocks. As we take a look at that kick out, Gargo Lanete. Lanete nailing his second three-pointer in this game. But looking at, look at, looking at those two shots by Lanete, we only see the two three-pointers made by Lanete. What we don't see is who passed the ball to Lanete in both occasions. Pong Escobal created the situation and gave the pass to Lanete. So Sean Cohen silent with four points so far for the Cardinals. Alone is Marcelo. Now the Red Lions are starting to pull away with five minutes and 45 seconds to play. NCAA action soaring high and free at season 83 only here on Studio 23 of Bercadamo. Don't forget the replay will be at Channel 33 on Sky Cable at 8 p.m. tonight. 10 p.m. it will be the replay of the second. Are indeed piling up. And this is the payoff period. Al Jamal dishing inside to Riego Camalinda. And how big has Camalinda and Lanete been here in the fourth quarter? To five, 78 to 73. Al Jamal. Yusuf Al Jamal now leading all scorers with 21. Now an offensive foul on Shanko. Coach Frank Lim inserting the net back in. And the technical oh. foul will be given here against Leo Isaac. This has just been frustrating in the second half for the Cardinals. Especially here in the fourth. Because it was in the third quarter minute. 26 seconds to play. Oh, Galvin de la Peña frustrated. Almost getting the steal, but getting the foul. Motion after the foul is called. Yeah. That's a maturity we've seen from Pong Escobar. Man. And this kid will go a long way. Oh, definitely. He has a size, not a fast point guard, but he has the mentality of a great point guard. He has the size and he makes the right decision most of the time. Some 10 seconds to play, De La Peña. Oh, oh, this will be a flagrant foul. And Pong Escobal has been the victim of all those hard fouls in this game. And the San Beda loyalists, of course, not liking that. It's, it's gonna be a sportsman-like foul called on De La Peña. He has fouled out, and that has just been the story here in the fourth quarter for the Cardinals because they were looking good in the third. Let's take a look at that. Oh, that was unnecessary indeed. Especially since the game is already uh, practically out of reach of uh, Makua. Oh, yes. Escobal, who has 10 points, hasn't been really scoring so far. So final score is 87 to 77. 10 point win, although without Sam Egwe, San Better Red Lions clinch the third win in a row. We'll be right back. The best play of the game is, of course, from Ogi Menor to Yusuf Al Jamal. A couple of veterans, a couple of members of last year's champion team uh, conspiring in that play. Menor with a nice pass there inside to Al Jamal, who provided the offense in today's game for San Peda. And our Gatorade turning point of the game is Carvo Lanete. Oh, yes. Back to back three pointer for Chico Lanete's younger brother, the rookie. What a few, what a future. It's a bright future for Lanete. Well, that started the run here for, for San Beda. Two three-pointers by Lanete. And then another one by uh, Gamalinda. Nine straight points there on the three-point uh, line by San Beda. And that turned the game uh, into their favor. Without Sam Ekwe, who stepped up, our Accenture high perform of the game is... I'm oh, telling you, this guy will be a factor. This guy will probably start 
for other schools but with Sam Equidair we were talking about who will take care of the inside presence here for San Beda that has been answered Dave oh, Marcelo yes. 10 points 13 rebounds and you know 7 blocks even if Equi played today I don't think he would have had 7 blocks in this game the rookie stepping up of course and games on Friday don't forget still here at the arena at San Juan City at 2pm the Coleo San Juan de Letran Knights will take